Sherlock and Watson are a love story. True heroics, obviously, is not the absence of fear, but having that fear and doing something anyway. I'm a big believer that life changes as much as you want it to. People misunderstand me. I like the idea of not everything happening between two human beings to be everyone's property. Disappointment is an endless wellspring of comedy inspiration. I have a very extreme state of mind. Things are very black or very white. My idea of a good night out is staying in. I'm not posh or common, I'm in between. I love home. I'd rather be at home than anywhere else. Why does everyone have to pretend to be stupid and not know long words? I've always got my eye on my deathbed. I value being able to go into a record shop and people leaving me alone. I can spot someone with similar fashion sense to me a mile off. What makes Shakespeare eternal is his grasp of psychology. He knew how to nail stuff about us as human beings. I look like the man in the moon. I'm one of the few people I know who believes in God. I like things that are simple, such as an alarm clock. I like but cut jeans in a plain style with a nice line. Being a mod is more of a sensibility than a style. If you are a plumber, you can work on a shed, or you can work on a mansion. It's just scale. Most actors are either a shower of bloody scruffs or think they should dress like Hamlet off stage. When I wear jeans I want to look like a man, not a child. I was probably cool around the end of 2002. There is nothing far-fetched about disappointment as a subject for comedy. It's something we are all too familiar with. I love that pre-mod jazz look of the late 50s, the Steve McQueen style that influenced the British modernists. Name anything, high definition TV, computer obsolescence, and I'm pretty much annoyed by it. I would wear a full-length cape if I could get away with it. I do love a good swirl in a fog. You don't want your children to look at you like you are anything special other than their dad. 
I hate the fact that so much of our life is computerized rather than mechanist. Acting is the only thing I'm even vaguely good at and acting is something that I think I do know about. It's a bit like a fledgling duck, finding your flippers. Like with anything, good writing suggests itself pretty strongly. I only really watch my own films. I don't watch any other films and I don't particularly like any other actors. Every actor is riddled with insecurity, of course. But weirdly, I don't really find that I'd be daunted with taking on roles or anything. I don't think it was a surprise that I ended up as an actor, and it was anything but a disappointment. There's a difference between the parts that I play and who I am and who people think I am. There's quite a big discrepancy sometimes between those things. I buy DVDs. I don't really buy CDs unless they're for other people. I hope I inspire children to make films. I like out. I like the outside world. <laughs>